I'm turning 40 in a month. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like, I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. I feel kind of excited about it. And I didn't have any really insecurities about it until recently. I just went in for my annual, you know, pap, my annual, I don't want to say the word pap smear. Uh, I would just said, but you know what I mean, the annual checkup thing. So I went in for that. <laughs> And while she was, in, in, you know, investigating me, she, she said, oh, have you thought about getting an eyelid lift? <laughs> and I was like, well, if you can fucking see them from where you are. <laughs> yeah, you should get one. Like, like going to the, I guess going to the doctor just takes a turn when you start getting older. Like, okay, this is kind of a stupid story, but I recently, I went to another doctor because I was done with her. I was like, well, I don't want anyone to tell me I need a neck lift when I just say my foot hurts or something. So I go to this other doctor because I was feeling very bitchy. Uh, I don't know. I know it seems like you would just go, oh, hey, just stop being bitchy. But that's not my move, really. Like, I, I need, I want a medical diagnosis, so that way, if one day I'm being bitchy and someone says it to me, I can be like, I have a condition, asshole. <laughs> so I go to this doctor and I tell him, you know, that I'm being bitchy, and he goes, they start, I said, I need my hormones tested, because that's what I've diagnosed myself with on, like, WebMD or whatever, right? Like, my, I figure my hormones are imbalanced, so... <laughs> So I go in there, I said, I need to test my hormones and feeling very bitchy. And before they'll do that for you, by the way, they ask you a ton of questions because it's a very like expensive and like extensive test. So of course he's like, well, you know, what do you, what do you eat? Maybe that can make you bitchy or what do you drink? That can make you, do you drink alcohol? And I was like, I eat kale all day. Just take the fucking test, asshole. <laughs> and then he was like, you know, you do seem uh, bitchy. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and run this test. And then I came back like two weeks later and he had the results and he said, I didn't really find anything in your, uh, you know, in your hormones that would, say, that would make you bitchy or whatever, but I did find something I need to tell you about. He said, your FSH levels are very low. And I said, well, I don't know what that is. He said, well, that's your fertility hormone and it's low. So if you want to get pregnant, you probably can't. And I said, okay, does that make you bitchy? And he was like, no, but it means like you probably can't have kids if you want to. And I said, okay, well, what about the bitchy thing? And he was, and he was like, no, I didn't find anything about that. And then he, like, he kind of kept going, and I felt like he was trying to get a reaction out of me. And finally, I was like, what's your problem? Like, why? And then I realized, oh, this is a man in his 50s telling a woman that she probably can't have kids. And that's usually bad news. But for me, I was like, oh, doctor, it's okay. I've spent most of my life trying not to get pregnant. <laughs> Print that out, I'll put on a V-neck and go to happy hour and fucking kill it right now. 